Hello, Roger. Oh, what are you doing up? I'm about to go to bed. Where'd you disappear to? Went down to the Blue Whale. Why? I thought you detested it. I do. Sam Evans called me. He asked me to meet him down there. Sam Evans? Well, if it hadn't been Evans, it would have been somebody else. What did he want? He had a rather startling announcement to make. What is it? You better let me pour you a brandy before I tell you it'll... You might need it. I don't want a brandy. Please get to the point. Well, in a minute you'll wish you had one. Evan says that we're going to have a visitor. Someone that neither you nor I ever expected to see again. Laura is back. Laura? What's she doing in Collinsport? That, my dear sister, is the jackpot question. Well, where did Sam see her? In the lobby of the Collinsport Inn. Apparently she's staying there. Is he sure it was Laura? Well, he says he is. Well, maybe he's mistaken. No, it's one way of easily finding out. Evan said she was registered in her maiden name. Is there a Laura Murdoch registered there? She is. Oh, no, don't bother ringing her room now. I'll uh, call her in the morning. Sam was right. Yes, I had a feeling he would be. What could she want? I don't know. There are several possibilities. Money's one of them. She gets a generous check every month. Well, maybe she's decided it's not generous enough. What she gets is ample for her needs. Or maybe it's not money at all. After she left the sanatorium, she didn't make too many financial demands on the family. Do you think she wants to see David? I suppose that's a possibility. Well, I'd rather she didn't. We don't know how sound she is. Well, if all she wants is to see him, let him see the boy. What difference would it make? Roger. You may not love your own son, but I do. Laura was a very sick woman. Seeing her might have a very bad effect on David. I won't allow it. All right. If she contacts us, tell her so. Well, why don't you tell her yourself? Perhaps I will. Why, you're afraid of Laura, aren't you? Afraid of my own wife? Yes, you always have been. I've always sensed it. Why should I be afraid of Laura? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, you're not making any sense, Liz. You had a chance to talk to her just now. Why didn't you? Because it was too late. Because... Because? Why? Well, it might be better for her to contact me first. Better? In what way? Well, or maybe she doesn't even want to see me. Well, why did she come back? I don't know. Stop hammering at me with a million questions. I know as much as you do. Roger, David is my concern. I don't care whether Laura is his mother. And I won't allow her to upset and disrupt his life. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Let's talk about it in the morning. All right. But I don't think either one of us are going to get much sleep. about your boat, Joe. Oh, Maggie, I have a feeling your mind isn't on boats. It's still with your father and his mysterious lady friend. I'm trying not to think about it, Joe. You're probably right. I'm probably just being silly. Hi, Pop. Oh, you two still up and about? Hi, Sam. Well, I guess I better be heading home, huh? Thanks for the lift, Joe. Oh, anytime. Don't you think you've had enough, Pop? Enough? What's that? You need some help with him? No, I can manage. I've had enough practice. Well, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Huh? No <laughs> same time, same place, same coffee. Good night, Maggie. Take care, Sam. Yeah. Good night, Joe. Come 
Come on, Pop. Sit down. Four. I'm gonna take your shoes off. Oh, I'm not going to bed. I gotta work. Work? At this hour? In your condition? Yeah, I got an idea for a painting. I, I gotta get on canvas before it gets out of my head. Pop, you can hardly stand up. Ah, stop nagging me. I gotta paint. Pop, you're not only loaded, you're out of your mind. Quiet. Thinking. Gotta get it on canvas. I give up. I'll see you in the morning. If you can see in the morning. Good night. I see. All right. Thank you. She's not there? She's gone out. This early? Mm. The clerk said she left about an hour ago. Well, that's unlike Laura. She used to sleep till noon. Did she leave word where she could be reached? Apparently not. Well, you could have left a message for her to call you. I'm not in that big a rush to see my dear wife. In fact, I'd prefer not seeing her at all. I want to see her. I want to know what's on her mind. I have a feeling you may not have to wait very long. Laura was always very unpredictable. She would arrive at some place unannounced. For all we know, she might be on her way here now. Pop? Pop! Wake up. Oh, no, just look. Can you sleep on. a little while longer? No, because I have to get to work, and I'm not going to leave you in this condition. Uh, and get some coffee in you. Coffee? Who needs that stuff? You do. Oh, oh is it morning? Yeah. Well, you'd know if you opened your eyes. Oh, I never want to open them again. Ever again. You deserve that hangover. You were impossible last night. I'm going to get you some coffee. Uh, I've had a good time. Huh. Hey, what's this? I've never seen this before. Is this the painting you started last night? Was I painting last night? Well, don't you remember? No. You were determined to paint last night. I couldn't talk you out of it. This must be what you started. It doesn't look like your style, though. I've never seen you paint like this before. Well, let, let's, let's see it. Yeah. Now do you remember it? No. Looks like a woman in standing in fire. I don't like it. There's something about this painting that gives me the creeps. Such wild colors. What a subject for a painting, a woman in flames. Pop, I can't imagine what was going on in your head. How about that coffee? Okay. Could you connect me with Laura Murdoch's room, please? Thank you. She doesn't answer. I see. 
No, no, no message. I'll, I'll call later. Thank you. I don't know why she still doesn't answer. She must still be out. Well, unless she's in her room and just won't answer the phone. Why would she do that? How do I know what she'd do? She was out of her mind the last time I saw her, and she still might be, for all I know. Somehow I don't think so. She's been out of the sa sanitarium quite a while. I think she might be all right now. It disturbs me she's at Collinford Inn. Why? Because Burke Devlin's there. Yes, that would be an unfortunate meeting. I wonder if he found her and brought her back here. Anything's possible, but he usually announces his triumphs. I don't want to, but I'd better see her. That is, if she'll see me. If she came back here of her own free will, I'm sure it's because she wanted to see us. Her own family's moved away. I'm certain she has something to say to us. Yes. But what is it? Well, what brings you here this morning, Mrs. Johnson? Something I know will interest you. I have many interests. This is something that's got them pretty nervous up there at Collinwood. I don't blame them. I'm putting the economic squeeze on their fishing cannery. Oh, that's not what's got them nervous. Nothing like that at all. What is it? Maybe you know about it already. Know what? They seem to think that you have something to do with it. With what, Mrs. Johnson? No, I don't guess you do. Well, you're going to be as surprised as Roger Collins was when he found out who has come to town. Who are you talking about? Laura Collins. I said Laura Collins. I heard. You're speechless, Mr. Devlin. Oh, yes. Yes, Mrs. Johnson, you've knocked the wind out of me. I thought it might. When did she come back? I don't know. It must have been yesterday or the day before. I just heard them mention it this morning, and I hear everything. Why? Why did she come back? Well, that's what they'd like to know. They even think that you might have uh, brought her back. I tried. A few years ago, but she was in a sanatorium. They said her progress was not considered very hopeful. Well, you see, they don't even know that she might be the same way as when she went in there. Roger actually thought I had something to do with bringing her back? That's right. Laura Collins. Have they seen her yet? Well, I know they haven't talked to her. That's why they don't know what she wants. But they want to get to her before you do. do. Do they know where she is? Where is she, do you know? In a place that's very convenient for you. Here. Right. Yeah, Mr. Wells. Can you tell me if uh, Laura Collins is registered here? She's not registered. Oh, she's registered under her maiden name. Murdoch. Uh, Mr. Wells, it's Laura Murdoch. Oh, yeah, I see. You know, what's the room number? Yes. Yes, thank you. No, 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 no don't bother to ring. This could be the best break I've had. Laura is the key. My trouble started with her, and they'll end with her. Mrs. Johnson, you have made my day for me. Well, I was just doing my job. Ah, you're a genius. You'll find a little something extra in your paycheck. Thank you. Now, what is it that happens next? I'm going to visit an old acquaintance.
certainly not tired. Well, you were yawning all through supper. That's because I didn't like supper. You don't like my cooking? You never cook anything that I like. Mm. Well, I'm going to have to speak to your father about your eating habits. Wouldn't do any good. He doesn't care what I eat. Well, that may change now, and you might be getting the discipline that you've been needing all these years. What do you mean? You'll see. Now get into bed. What do you mean? Discipline. You'll be getting into line. Now, put your head down. You don't have to cover me up. I can do it myself. Yeah, well, maybe somebody else will be doing that soon. Ooh. You'll see. Now close your eyes. Ooh, listen to that wind. Don't close it. I like to listen to the wind. Well, you'll catch pneumonia with this open. Ooh, that wind doesn't sound like wind. It doesn't sound like anything earthly. You know... I had a funny feeling today. I felt like... I felt like somebody was watching me. Well, somebody should watch you. I thought I saw a lady standing behind the bush. Mm. One of the widows, maybe? No. She was different. Hmm. Well, you're always seeing things and telling stories. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. Still doesn't answer? No. No, no message. Thank you. Is David asleep? Well, I put him to bed and turned the lights out. The rest is up to him. Thank you. Did you reach her? No, she's not in or has been all day. Could she be with friends? She didn't have that many friends. Close ones, I mean. The only person she could be with is Burke Devlin. Roger, what are you going to do about David? Are you going to tell him about his mother? Well, I suppose she'll want to see him. She might have that right. It could be a bad experience for him. Not necessarily. He's oh. almost forgotten her. No, he hasn't. Every once in a while, he asks me a question about her. Oh, why did she have to come back now? I don't know. But I think we must prepare David for whatever might happen. 